E2 Brutus? That is a Latin line from one of the most famous plays from William Shakespeare from Julius Caesar. Act 1. Scene 3, I believe, where Julius Caesar is about to be done in by his former friends from Brutus. It's all coming down on the Democratic side, y'all. They're all turning against Joe Biden. Like George Clooney, longtime Democrat, longtime Joe, uh, Joe Biden supporter, calling out Biden to drop out of the race. This is come from coming from a CNBC article. A CNBC article saying a Democrat wants a Democrat out. They're eating their own, y'all. Eating their own. In this CNBC article, which I can't even believe, saying George Clooney is calling out calling on President Joe Biden to step down. Jordan Clooney said Biden has clearly lost a step, just a step? Only a step, sir? Can he find the steps to step down? The article goes on to say, Clooney said Biden has clearly lost a step. Any struggles were evident, evident during a fundraiser. Biden has insi- insisted he's not going anywhere. <sighs> Did they just figure this out in the last debate? Am I, am I the only one that the Democrats just saw this? They were just fine with it for the last three and a half years. Am I, am I the only one? <laughs> All the Democrats, the liberals, just saw Biden just walking around lost, just fine with it for the last three and a half years. Now you just saw the debate and you you saw we, what we all saw now. Is, is that right? All the Democrats are like, okay, this is not a good thing for America. We should change this up. We should change this up. Okay. Um, Yeah. He just had a fundraiser, George Clooney, for Joe Biden literally a month ago when he was here asking for money uh, for his campaign race. Literally a month ago. Now you're like, nah, you're not a good fit. (laughs) Also, another longtime Democrat agrees with George uh, Clooney, um, Michael Douglas, telling The View that he's deeply concerned about the president's ability to win. In this Fox News article, quote, this just happens to be one of the elections that is so crucial and it's hard. Aren't all the elections crucial? Not like, this is the only one, Michael Douglas. This is the most crucial one? Is it because your side is going to lose? Is it because the Democrats are going to lose? Easily! <laughs> I have no idea why they decided to the de- do the debate so early. I mean, we all know why they decided to, d- to do the debate so early, right? I mean, we saw it on stage. The cognitive abilities for Biden. Uh, they thought, okay, we need to get this early and done. Because we don't know how he is in the fall. <laughs> He's like a, an old Toyota uh, Corolla, right? That struggles in the winter months. But like in the summertime, it works great. I mean, it gets a lot of oil leaks. Sometimes it breaks down. It's kind of reliable. But the winter months, nah, you get the sputtering. It might even not turn on. So they were like, we should do the debates now. You know, he's up and running. All right. Uh, uh, we, we need to do the debates now. So he was on The View uh, saying that Biden, he, he might not have a chance to, to win now. And he thinks uh, that this election, above all other elections, are very crucial. Um, and he also agrees with uh, George Clooney uh, quoting... Uh, I. 
Well, I think it's a valid point. I mean, I am deeply, deeply concerned. I, I mean, especially it's difficult because the Democrats have a big bench. I mean, they've got a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of talent. Do you hear the silence? Which talent? Who are you going to bring up to bat? Who are you going to wave in from the ball? Park to come in. To pinch hit for Joe Biden. That's going to make any difference against Donald Trump. I'll wait. It can't be Kamala. <laughs> you're not you're not thinking Kamala, are you? Cuz uh, that's going to be an easy one for Donald Trump. So, there we go. Uh, and also Nancy Pelosi uh also is like th- thinking like, okay, Biden that can't be a good choice. All right? That can't be a uh, good choice. Pelosi is uh, also worried. All right. They're eating each other right now, y'all. And it seems like the Republicans are all coming together. They're all coming together like um, Nikki Haley here uh, in this Scripps article here. Nikki releases delegates to Trump ahead of the Republican National Convention. The former Southern South South Carolina South. So excited right now about the news. I can't even speak. The former South Carolina governor had 97 delegates from the Republican primary process, and they uh, she's going to release them and uh, try to give them to Trump right there. That's that's unity, y'all. The, uh, the Democrats are always saying, like, the Republican side uh, are always uh, disorganized, not together. And it looks like uh, they're forming up, right? And I believe this is due to the, the debates from Joe Biden. All the Republicans are like, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. We got this in the bag. We got this in the bag, y'all. We need to link up like Voltron. All right, Nikki Haley's like, all right, let's, let's just, let me just give you all my delegates here. Uh, quote from uh, Nikki Haley, The nominating convention is a time for Republican unity. Joe Biden is not competent to serve a second term, and Kamala Harris would be a disaster for America. That's, a, that's, that's not me. That's, that's literally a quote from Nikki Haley right there saying... Uh, Kamala Harris would be a, would be a disaster for America. We need a president who would, who will hold our enemies to account, secure our border, cut our debt, and get our economy back on track. I encourage my delegates to support Donald Trump next week in Milwaukee. Boom and boom. All right, the Democrats right there are in disarray. Pointing at each other. This is your fault. This is your fault. This ain't my fault. And they all want Joe Biden out. And Joe Bo- Biden is like, I don't even know where I'm at right now, but I ain't leaving. All right? You always got that grandpa uh, during the weekend. Sometimes you got to like uh, visit up there. And you're visiting your, your, your grandpa or your grandma. And they're like, you need to go take a nap. They're like, I don't want to take a nap. All right? I'm not leaving. And that's Joe Biden right now. And the Democrats are like, your family members are like, gosh. You need to get him gone. He needs to leave. We need to leave. But right now the Republicans are like, oh, we don't want you to leave, Joe. Not just yet. You're doing right by us, Joe. Anyways, this is your boy Ryan. Let me know your th- thoughts about this whole Democrat side. Celebrities are turning on Joe Biden. Senators are turning on Joe Biden. And the Republicans like Nikki Haley are coming together for America. This is your boy Ryan. Like, subscribe. I'll check you guys out in the next one. Stay safe and keep on shocking them. Peace.